to tell you that beautiful story about this lady who, which they brought to me, and she was not able to walk uh, or barely walk. And, and, and there was a person on each side, and she came, and, uh, and there was hundreds of people. And, and then she came, and, and she was looking in that direction. So I, I'm right there, and she's looking this way. So she's she not making any contact with me, eye contact with me. And, and, and I said, you have cancer. Uh, and you, you have received a bad report from the doctor. Uh, and she, she was totally mute, she wasn't speaking. And I said, you have about one or two weeks to live. And, and, then, and then the people around her, they were like, yes, yes, oh my God, how do you know? That? I said, well, God is revealed to me. And I said, Lord, what do I say to her? <laughs> and so severe cancer. And at one point the Lord said, tell her, the Lord said to me, Tell her that she needs to forgive her husband. I'm like, Lord, jump in any second. <laughs> I'm going to give you the word. You talk to her directly. No, it's a joke. But, uh, and I said to her, listen, I said, you know, I said, you do whatever you want. I said, God wants you to forgive your husband. And one point I told you she was looking this way. She was like, she went like, Two AK-47 in her eyes. She said, what? And she went like, okay, I'm done. She turned and left. You know, it's very really successful as a preacher, is it? <laughs> you have a lot of hearings. Yay. Okay. She, and then she disappeared from the surface of, uh, of the earth, so to speak. Until three years later, she comes to my house. Don't ask me how she found me. She comes over there, and she's like, I'm like, open the, I see this beautiful lady, you know, all dressed up, all makeup, all beautiful earrings, and, which before she was like, like totally like white and strange. She said, you don't recognize me, do you? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> She said to me, she said, uh, I'm the lady who got healed from cancer. And I said, uh, excuse me, what cancer? <laughs> and she said, you remember that day I came and she, she, she told me the story. And she said, you told me to forgive my husband. So I went home and I prayed. And I said, either I listen to this lunatic, no, uh, to this weird preacher, and I may have a chance. Or... I don't even listen to him because it makes no sense to me, and I die. She said, I chose the former. I, I chose to believe. I chose what you told me was coming from God. She, she said, it was very difficult for me to repent. The husband treated her like hell. Uh, they invited her. Uh, he invited her to a beautiful dinner around Christmas time, and, and she has three little kids. She goes to dinner. She goes over there. And then when she comes home, he hides someone to empty the house and to lock it with locks. So when she went back, she knew nothing. She, then she went back, she went, she went literally under shock. Now, would you forgive? I don't know about you guys, but me, I would be like, oh my, whoa, what did I do? You know, so... And of course, I will forgive, you know, because of Jesus Christ. So she said, that's the reason why I could not forgive. I could not for years. I couldn't. I want him dead. And when you told me that, the anger got transferred from him to you. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. <laughs> hey, pray for me, guys. Uh, and she said, no, 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 nonsense. So to make a long story short, a blood count, the second she repented, the, the blood count, uh, don't ask me the numbers, I, I'm, not, I'm not a doctor, but it, it started going from a thousand, the red cell got multiplied by a thousand every week until the doctor said, you know what, you, you, you're totally healed from cancer. Go home. She had two weeks to live. Two weeks, I didn't say two months, and she got totally free. So why is it important? See. Each of you 
if you do not forgive his brother from your heart. The father, you know what the father will do? He will remove his protection. He will be like, okay, you're on your own now. And yet, you know what the enemy does? The enemy will go and plunder you until you're dead. Okay? You see, there's protection on all of us. Why? Because God is as his hands are on us. But God forbid he remove the hand, guess who will have the upper hand? Satan. You see? So that's the reason why we, not, we are sitting under the teaching, under the, uh, the presence of God who protects us. Amen? So it's a simple teaching, I hope. Uh, if you have, and I don't believe again here, but if you have something that is tormenting you, that is eating at you, let it go. Let it go. And God will help you. He will be a good, faithful servant. You can enter now into the joy of your Lord. Amen? Praise God, there's no distance in the glory. Please take a moment now to release all unforgiveness, anger, or any wrong attitude you are holding towards anyone to the Lord. Thank you, Father, that as you have forgiven us, we forgive all those who have done anything against us. We prepare our hearts to receive all that you have for us now. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.